hello everyone welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series so today I'm going to show you how to create a particle system that emitting from this character I'll go to the toggle debug camera and yeah now as you can see when I shot him with the fire arrow this character is showing this burning these uh, flames are uh, emitting from this character and he's not dying yet i haven't implemented that part but this is what i'm going to cover today let me show you again there is the fire and, and now you can see the fire fire particles are being emitted from the surface of this enemy character like this and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right so first i'm going to open one of my fire particles Let's take this one. Actually, this particle is from starter content. This is the particle. So, yeah, I'm not going to create the fire effect from scratch. I just want to show you how to make it uh, look like burning the character. Okay, so I'll duplicate this one and uh, name it burning man yeah whatever okay and then yeah let's test it with uh, one of my anime characters yeah let's try this one this is one voice uh, this is my one of my anime characters in the game so yeah now here what I have to do is this in order to make them emit from a skeletal mesh surface we can use this location and scale word or surf location and here we can set the valid associated bones so let's uh, check our bones we have in this character we have yeah, spine yeah we have bones like this so I'll just uh, define few of them here First, I'll give it spine. Let's add, uh, add three bones or oh, four bones. Spine and then neck. And then left left forearm and right forearm okay right now this is only for the flames uh, I'll just for now I'll disable these other emitters and keep only the flames emitter like this and here in the world let's test it out like this so I'll place one instance of this burning man particle 
like this I can place it anywhere and then here I can define an instance parameter and as for the parameter I'm going to copy this parameter name word surface actor paste it here and for the parameter type I'm going to give actor and here I can select this actor so let's use this pick actor from the scene icon and pick this actor see a channel now you can see the particles are being emitted from this character and I think we need a little more spawn rate so let's increase it spawn and rate it's 5 at the moment shall we try 50 yeah it's better now okay now the next step is when I shoot this character uh, in the runtime we should emit one of these param uh, particles and start emitting so let's see how to do that okay um, I'll delete this one for now and open my chuman character and in the place let's check where do I where have I implemented on arrow hit yeah I have implemented this on arrow hit event so I implemented this event in a previous tutorial where I implemented uh, fire arrows so here from this arrow I can get the type of arrow like this whether it is a fire arrow poison arrow or a frost arrow or a normal regular arrow so based on that type I spawn damage decal for the fire arrows I spawn a burning mark decal right so just like that let's do a switch like this switch on magic type this one mm. well I need to do this after this part so therefore I'll get like this and I'll use the magic type like this and if it is a fire arrow I'll spawn emit uh, attached uh, well I don't really need to attach so I'll just spawn emit uh, well, what? well it doesn't matter I can spawn it attached and for the attach object I'll give attach component I'll give capsule like this and yeah this uh, don't really matter so here here I can set instance parameters like this and make array and make particle sys param this one actually define a particle system parameter just like we did in the details section when we select the particle here and then for the name I'm gonna give you this one word surface actor 
like this and then I'm going to select type actor and for the actor I'm going to connect cell like this and yeah that's all well let's first see how it looks and then let's look into next steps okay let's collect some arrows first alright I hit him in the first try no that's not good oh wait I got an error let's see attempt to assign now Ah, right I forgot to assign the parameter template and this should be P fire burning man right now let's check quickly collect arrows okay. now his body is burning like this and I wonder why he got killed at the first try now you can see his leg is burning but I would look much cooler if I burn his whole body ah uh, right the reason he is dying at the first try is because his health is low so let's increase his health to 20 and check again right now he is burning and coming at okay well since I am attaching this uh, particle emitter to the character I can just enable these other things so they will not be emitting from the character surface but still I'll see some smoke and other effects and that would be good enough or if I want them to spawn from the surface itself of the character then I can just add another scale word surface node here, module here and set up just like I did for this parameter uh, this emitter and I'm going to stop at this point for today in future episodes I will look into more improvements of uh, other things Actually, I was working with the crafting system these days, but I kind of wanted to have some change and I had some request to do that part. So that's why I took a break from crafting and show you how to do the burning particle system. And thanks for watching. If you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club right here. Link would be in the description below. Uh, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.